In this video, we're gonna be going over how to insert an image to then trace that image. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is let's create a sketch on the top face of this mouse trap. Let's look at our top face and I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit. So here's our top and here's our bottom. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to this insert image. If yours doesn't show up, make sure you do a little drop down arrow and do insert image. What you may have to do in this situation is my screen is actually too enlarged. And if you uh, kind of shrink this up a little bit, you can see that there's an import button right here. So we'll click import. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to click my Victor logo. Let's do open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my picture. It says draw an image rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of click and draw. That looks good, sure. Um, but we have a problem here. And the problem is, is it Onshape won't let us rotate this very easily. So what we need to do is let's show our constraints. And we have a lock right here. This little line, we'll click on that and let's delete that. So now what we can do is we can come over here um, to our different constraints and I'm gonna do a parallel and I'll just do the sideline to the sideline, that kind of flips it around. Um, and what I can do is I can just kind of, oh, I didn't want to finish that. Um, I can come over here now and I can just kind of click and drag and move this exactly where I want it to be. Um, and again, if, if it's too big or too small, what you can do is you can click on the dimension tool and click here. So maybe we want it to be, I don't know, two inches. Uh, sure, made a little bit bigger. I can just kind of click and drag and move this right where I want it. So sure, that looks great. We'll say finish sketch. Oop, actually, we don't want to finish sketch yet. We want to grab our line tool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of trace our picture here. So again, uh, if you're doing Victor or whatever image you're doing, um, we can now kind of just grab our line tool. And I can just kind of start to outline this the best I can. So we'll say that looks good. Come down here, sure. I'll just do a mirror again so that this goes a little bit faster. Go up there, connect it, and what I could do is mirror. I could say, what line do I want to mirror? That one, choose the entities that you want mirrored. I can choose all of my lines. And the bottom one. Okay, same thing, we have two little circles right here just for time's sake. I'm just gonna kind of click in the middle. Sure, that looks good. I'll kind of click in the middle. Again, just trace these the best you can. And just for fun, I'll do the Victor as well, but you guys will pretty much get the point. Um, so let's trace this Victor again as quick as possible. It might not be perfect, but that's okay. So there's our V. I can even just grab a rectangle tool. I can trace this. I can come over to the T. I'm still using a rectangle tool. Sure, that looks great. Back to my line tool again, kind of tracing these the best I can. The nice thing about Onshape too is, is I can kind of click over here and it will line everything up nicely. So same thing, come right over here. We can line these up just like that. Line those up and then now we can grab our arc tool and very simply trace that. That looks good. Go to there to there and that looks good. We could grab a circle tool Again, we're just kind of eyeballing it right now. That looks good. And we'll say that looks good. And we'll end on this R. We'll finish this up and we'll be ready to go. So we'll say that looks good. We'll come out to maybe right there. Grab another line tool. Let's say right there. Sure, that looks good. Same thing down here. Ooh, that line's a little off, but that's okay. Sure, right there looks good. 
And then lastly, we can grab our arc tool. There to there. There to there. And we'll call that good. So once you get everything traced, we can finish our sketch. We can go to extrude. And what you're going to do is you're just going to choose everything. And our extrusion depth is going to be something very, very small. So maybe 0.001, that looks good. And so what we're going to do now is just kind of click all of the things that we just drew. So we have these two right there. Bingo, bingo. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay. So now you can actually see these have all kind of extruded outwards. We can click on our appearance panel. We can add a face. We can change the color. And now I can kind of just click what I want. That looks good. We'll say, okay. I can add another one. We'll say black. Let's zoom in. Choose our letters. We'll say, okay. Close our appearance panel up. So that is how you can uh, insert an image, trace it, extrude it, and have a nice professional looking mousetrap.